I'm Johnny, and this is my North Beach. So chalpino is a traditional San Francisco stew. It was invented down on Fisherman's Wharf. The uh, fishermen would be hungry after a hard day's work, and somebody would light a fire, put some tomato on with garlic and other herbs, and as all of the fish was sold, whatever was left on the boat, they would chip into this big pot. Some people say that's how it got its name too, because they'd be yelling up and down the wharf, you're gonna chip in, oh, you're gonna chip in, oh, to see who had some crab, who had some salmon, who had some halibut to add to the pot. I steamed some crab and cracked it. So this is gonna be the major ingredient in the chalpino. These, this is Dungeness crab uh, caught right off the coast of San Francisco. We have some very nice calamari that I'm gonna cut into rings. And this is a source from Monterey Bay, a little bit south of us. Some sea scallops. We have some shrimp here. I left them in the shell because the shell actually will add some flavor to the broth and it's pretty easy to peel off. I also cut through the shell so I could get rid of the vein back here. Here's a nice piece of haddock. And I'm gonna leave this whole because as it cooks, it may, uh, it may break apart a little bit and not be as big. And back here, number six and number seven, I've got some uh, small clams and some mussels. I've got my uh, San Marzanos, right? D-O-P, dope tomatoes. I put them in a bowl, crushed them by hand. This is gonna be the base of the broth. And then over here, uh, we've got a little uh, red bell pepper. I'm gonna put that in for a little sweetness. I've got a piece of fennel here. I like to get a little bit of that honest flavor into the broth. I've got uh, dry, uh, dry oregano here on the branch, hiding back here is a little pepperoncino. I'm gonna chop that up and it's gonna give us a little heat on the back side. A couple of fresh bay leaves, fresh basil, garlic, flat Italian parsley, and an onion. I'm gonna put in a little bit of um, red bell pepper. If you're lucky, you may get a piece of this. The fennel's gonna add a nice licorice anise flavor. And I'm just gonna cut this piece in thirds. Onion, but I wanna just try to keep this balanced here a little bit. But here we go with the baboom on the, on the garlic. Just give it a good smash. We're gonna leave that that way. And a second one, baboom, paper comes right off. This is from my butcher at Little City. He grows these in his backyard. This is gonna give us a, a nice little peppery sparkle at the end of each bite. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add some uh, fairly good amount of olive oil. A tip is I, I really use the, uh, the garlic to kind of flavor the, uh, the olive oil. And I think I need a little bit more olive oil. So I'm bringing the olive oil and the garlic up to temp together. And before the pan gets too hot, sometimes I'll just bring the, uh, the garlic down there and see it's, it's sizzling in that oil a little bit. Next, I'm gonna put in the onion. Then I'll add the, uh, the fennel. This is gonna give us a nice anise flavor to this broth. Okay, a little color. Oh, we're gonna have the Italian flag over here. Red, white, and green. Wow, the, the aromas coming out of this pan already are just fantastic. So I'm gonna put in the two bay leaves. There's uh, the chili, dried chili. That's going in. We'll let that toast a little bit off though. the base of our chalpino, our fish stew. The parsley, it's gonna be a nice flavor in the basil. We're gonna, we're gonna want some oregano, but not a lot. Bring it up to temp here, and then we'll start adding our shellfish. So now we gotta get the fish ready to go in there. And let's start with the, uh, the clams and the mussels. Uh, if any of these shellfish don't open after we put them in the broth, we're gonna throw them away. Uh, I like to get small ones. Some people like big ones, but I think the small ones are uh, more tender. So the problem with the mussels is that uh, they have this beard and you have to remove the beard before, uh, before you can cook them. So basically just take a little knife, grab, grab onto the beard and just pull it out. And you want to do this just before you're cooking them 
because they'll die. They have, they have to be alive because uh, dead ones you're going to get sick from. So that's why we want them tightly closed here when we buy them. And if they don't open in the hot liquid, we're going to throw them out. Let's take the uh, calamari. I was a little bummed when I was at my fish monger. I could only get the tubes. Usually I like to get a combination of the tubes and the tentacles. But he said somebody had just come in before me and bought up all of the tentacles. So I don't have any for today's preparation. Now I was worried a little bit about these scallops. See, some of them are really big. So I think what I'm going to do with the, the big scallops is I'm going to cut those in half also. Okay, so that's good. The haddock, I told you, I'm going to leave whole because it's probably going to break up a little bit. So now I'm going to start introducing uh, the seafood. The clams and the mussels are going to take the longest to cook. So I'm going to put these in first. I'm going to give these a minute or two a head, head start. The next fish that are going to take the longest to cook, I think, is going to be uh, the haddock. So I'm going to put that in. I'll put the shrimp in now. I got my scallops and I got my calamari. So I'm just going to put these all right in. Nice and nice. I know the clams are starting to open here. So I'm going to introduce the, uh, to the crab, to the other six fish, because this really just has to come to temp. So I'm just going to set that on top. I'm going to put the top back on, give this another minute, and we're going to be, uh, we're going to be ready to eat. Okay, it's time to dig into the chow pino. What'd that take us? About 10, 15 minutes to get everything done all in one pot. Seven fish dinner, Christmas Eve. Seven fishes all in one pot. So let's finish this off with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Never hurt nothing. And I got some uh, chopped uh, parsley just to give it a little bit of color and freshness. Let me start with a little piece of calamari. Wow. Let me move over to a clam because this one's already... Mm. I don't know where to go next. Shrimp. Okay, what's next? Oh, I didn't do muscle. Mm. I got three I didn't do yet. Where, where, where are they? Remember that big piece of haddock? I told you I wasn't going to cut it up because I knew it was going to break up as it cooked. Here it is. Mm. The scallop, it's hiding over here. Mm. Okay, now I'm really going to get dirty. Here's the claws, my favorite part. Look at this piece of meat that's coming out of here. Mmm. 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 And there you have it. Christmas Eve. Bon appetito e bon Natale. Happy holidays to everyone. <laughs> I didn't even use that nothing over here. Come